Hello my little sweets, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah, if you are new here, feel free to subscribe, I'd love to have you here. I decided to do this vlog a little bit differently and that I'm going to be narrating it a little bit. I don't know if you watch my Miss Girl, Claudia Saluski, but this is how she does her vlogs and I kind of like it. So, so I thought I would do mine like this, mainly because this vlog that you're about to see is a little bit all over the place, but also it's kind of just nice to talk through things sometimes and I've never done it before. So let's get into it. This all kind of began last week. I went to a really fun little private event at this little flower shop and some of my friends were DJing. Friend Jack was in town and we just boogied the night away. It was really, really fun. I have been going out a lot more and it's been really nice to like connect with my friends. I also said goodbye to Jenna on her year long travel. So it was really great to see her. And then after that, we, Paige and I, did our first dip. That was something that happened, which was so, so nice. Um, it's finally getting nicer here in Victoria, which is amazing. But we did our first ocean dip, which was well needed. A little cleanse of mind, body, and soul. So that was something that was a highlight of mine last week. And then I didn't vlog too much during the week, but then on Thursday, my really good friend Tessa came back. She'd been in France for three months, and she just happened to be in town. We were hanging out, we stumbled upon this like random show in the park, which was super fun. So we did that and she slept over, which was amazing. And it was just nice to like reconnect with her. And then I bought tickets to Coachella. Good morning, cuties. It's about 10 a.m. I'm eating some Cheerios for breakfast and I'm currently halfway in line for Coachella. I never would have anticipated going, but my friend Chelsea, who has me wrapped around her little finger has convinced me to go so she's actually at the airport right now and i think i'm gonna be the one that's gonna get in um to buy the tickets so um yeah i have never really been like oh yeah i really want to go to coachella but it sounds really fun and i'm in my say yes to everything arc right now so i'm doing it and i woke up really early it's 10 now but um my really good friend Tessa stayed over at night last night and she needed to catch the ferry this morning so she left really early and I ended up getting early, up early and finished a complete reel, like shot a complete reel because the lighting in my bathroom was so perfect so I'm feeling quite accomplished this morning and going to do a little weekend vlog for you. It's Friday, happy Friday. Thank you so much for your patience. I know another vlog will go up before this but as I'm filming this right now it's been quite a while since I put up the last vlog so my apologies. I have just been really busy and really enjoying my silly little life and floating on this big freaking rock and just doing stuff. And so it's been a little bit um, challenging to keep everything in order. I'm definitely not super good at self-motivating and time management when it comes to being self-employed. I go through phases of like really getting into it and this has not been a good week for me so I'm hoping to have a fresh start and we'll let you know if I end up getting tickets I'm pretty sure I will I'm like pretty I'm pretty I'm almost like I'm over the halfway mark so oh my god I think I got them that was so intense it's still processing why is it taking so long to process oh my god I got them oh my god I got them I'm making sure I got two. I'm going to freaking Coachella. Oh my god. <laughs> Coachella's fucking expensive. I put myself on a payment plan. I'm like, there's no way I can afford to pay this right now. This is crazy. Whew, okay. Now I can continue on with my, my day. It's 10.37 now, so that took 40 minutes in line to get them. Fucking crazy. My love never had a hold on me, but when she finally slipped away, she left me bound. I crept tight to the mansion banister, drunker than a floor. I'm hungover. You got me. You got me. I'm hungover. I've been sitting on my couch for about 30 minutes thinking about how I really want to go get a bagel. Oh. 
Uh, I also took off my makeup, but not my mascara, which is always something I regret in the morning. So my eyes feel like they're just so dry. I don't really know how we got here, but we're here. It's like 8.30, I woke up at seven, which is criminal. I have no real big plans today. I might go to the sauna with Paige and Nick, <laughs> but that probably won't be for a little bit. So I think I could go get a bagel. It's also the farmer's market today. I feel like I should go get some stuff, but I don't know if I could be around the community like this. I don't know if I can let the community see me like this. The internet is okay, but my community members might be shocked. Okay, yeah, I need to uh, I need to figure some stuff out about my life, and we'll uh, we'll check in later. So we might as well be brave. We can be bad and good together We can love each other out Okay, hi, I haven't vlogged all day, but I just got an exciting package and they are sponsoring a portion of this video, so I'm so excited to share this. I got stuff from Magic Linen and I was actually so excited. So for those of you who don't know, I used to work at a furniture store for like two years over two years two and a half years and we had magic linen and so it's a product i'm super super familiar with our customers loved it and seriously could not recommend it enough there are all um the linen is grown everything made in lithuania and it's just like in a really incredible company and i love all of their stuff so i got some things and i wanted to share them with y'all the first thing is they got the waffle towel set. I actually already put the hand towel in my bathroom, but it comes with a nice face cloth. Amazing, amazing stuff. I actually purchased this when I worked at the shop. So I already have it and I've been using it for years. So can confirm that I love. Comes with the face cloth, a hand towel, and then the, the bath towel, which is really huge. It's amazing. So soft. If you are someone who's like, doesn't know if they would like linen, I would give it a try. Uh, I definitely know there's some people that don't think it's as absorbent as far as like wet goes, but as soon as you wash it a couple times, it gets really, really soft and like absorbs water really quickly. So this is the uh, beige color. It comes in lots of really amazing colors. And then I'm so excited about this. All of their stuff also comes in compostable packaging, which is cool. This is the fitted sheet in moss yellow. I wanted this so badly when I worked at the shop and I just never pulled the trigger on it and so I was so excited <laughs> to do this project because now I have it. And so I just got the fitted sheet and two pillowcases because I do like my plain white um, duvet cover and I kind of just like the idea of having a pop of color underneath and so that's why I thought it would be cool to do the fitted and then the pillowcases so that you can see it but it's not too much because it is a sort of bright color but I love it. I would say it's kind of like reminds me of a, like a little bit more like of a chartreuse sort of color. Not quite so green, but I am obsessed with it. Their linen is extremely soft. It's a little bit more, I would say, textured. I'm familiar with linen. There's some linen that is extremely, extremely soft. This is a little bit more textured, which I love. But as with all linen, it gets really, really soft um, the more you wash it. Their stuff is really easy to wash. I believe it's just like a machine wash cold. Oh my god, I'm so excited to put this on my bed. If you're looking for linen stuff, it's really, really great, great quality. I know that I've spoken about lots of different linen brands before, and I love all of them. This one included. The linen, the colors that this brand does are so phenomenal, like the cinnamon, the tan, um, this moss yellow color, they do a really pretty pink color, and it was always so fun for me at least when I worked at the shop to like help people decide what linen color to do in their bedroom depending on what furniture they had and stuff. I will leave links to everything down below if you are looking for some linen. They also have, like, like I said, linen towels. These are my favorite linen towels ever, and I've tried very, a lot of linen towels, especially linen waffle towels. These are my favorite, hands down, best towels. Gonna get back to work, but I just wanted to quickly show you, pop in here and show you all this stuff because it is beautiful. 
On Monday, I had a pretty full work day and then Paige helped me shoot a lot of content outside which is great she's been such an amazing help and I love just hanging out with her and we have lots of fun and then that evening I got to go to a cool um, rooftop patio in Victoria called Superflex and got an amazing meal and some drinks and also did that with Paige so we had a lot of fun doing all that stuff spoken to y'all on here in so long but hi it's Tuesday afternoon I wanted to quickly pop on here and show you some little bits I went to Valley Village yesterday and got this how gorgeous it's like leather cord and this beautiful mother of pearl shell like are you kidding I'm so excited to wear it. I don't know what I'm gonna wear it with yet though. Okay, so I got that. And then on the same trip, I got these shoes. I know I said I was not gonna do any more thrifting and I promise this is last time, but look at these. I, I had to have them. So I got these. The brand is Amalfi Italy. They're leather contrasting stitch I uh, just uh beautiful so I got those and then today Paige and I were downtown and I picked up some CDs so I always forget my car as a CD player and although I do have an aux hookup or like a little transmitter thing I feel like it's fun to have CDs so we have no doubt the singles 1992 to 2003 amazing some really good ones on here we've got just a girl hey baby Hella good. Oof. Don't speak. All of these are $2, by the way, at Salvation Army. I had to get Women in Songs 3. Does this unlock any sort of core memory for anybody? Potentially a single mom vibe. Anyone else an only child of a single mom? This is probably your anthem. So my favorites from this, personally, are Hands by Jewel. Phenomenal track. Uh, my Favorite Mistake by Shell Crow, a very underrated song of hers, I feel. I know I'm sure if you go on Spotify, it's probably on her top five, but I feel like it's not always the first song people think of when they think of Shell Crow. Oof, what else we got here? Break Your Heart, Natalie Merchant. Oh my God. Linger, The Cranberries. Excited for that. And then, to top the whole thing off, I mean, I still have more to show you, but of that, Alanis Morissette's Jagged Little Pill. Another single mom anthem. This is just phenomenal. So we got that. Next, we got Enya. And I'm actually not familiar. This is her Watermark album. I'm actually not familiar with all of Enya's songs. Um, obviously, I know Orinoco Flow, um, which is one of the best songs of the 80s. Oh my god, this came out in the 80s? 1989. Wow. Excited to explore more Enya in my car. And then we got Shania Twain's Up because this has got literally all the classics on it. I'm gonna get you good. Forever and for always. Is you're the one on here? Not on this album, but that's okay. I actually don't know which album that's on. Next, we got Evanescence Fallen. This one Paige recommended I get because I was like, mm, I don't know if I'm going to remember all of Evanescence's songs and she was like, no, you will. So uh, here we go. A 2003 classic. I got uh, Patsy Cline's 12 Greatest Hits because we love Patsy Cline. Um, Walking After Midnight, Crazy, Strange, Back in Baby's Arms. Oof, I'm really excited for this. Really excited about this. Produced by Owen Bradley. I need to look him up. And then lastly, we got Billy Joel's River of Dreams. Actually, not sure if I meant to buy this one, 
Uh, I actually don't really, um, this is probably my least familiar with Billy Joel album, but um, I got it. So yeah, I'm excited about that. I've had a very busy couple of days, but we're, we're trying, we're trying folks. Oh, I also got this. Also, it's hung absurdly high because it was just like the only nail I had, but look at this phenomenal piece of art. For clarification, I am not Sagittarius Sun. I am Sag Rising. I am a Sag Rising, but I love, I very much identify with being a Sagittarius and I love Sagittarius people. Anyone who has any sort of Sagittarius in their chart. So this is my like manifesting those people into my life by having that hanging on my wall. Uh, anywho, it's about five o'clock and I'm gonna go back to emails because I got some stuff to do, but I wanted to quickly show you all all that stuff that I got. Probably see your key faces tomorrow. I grip tight to the mansion banister Drunker than a forest fire On a lonely Father's Day We can be bad and good together We can love each other loud I'm lighter than a feather And that kind of brings us to today, which is Thursday morning. I'm just gonna wrap up this vlog here and get on to another one. I'm really trying to stay consistent. I really appreciate all of your patience with me. And I thank you so much for watching and for being here and for being in my corner of the internet. I am so grateful for each and every single one of you. Y'all are the realest for real. I will have all of the magic linen stuff linked down below. I can't say enough good things. I'm really excited about it and obviously we'll keep you updated as I wash and use it and love it but I have a feeling it's gonna be a favorite. So I will see all your beautiful faces in the next one and I hope you have an amazing day, evening, morning, whenever you're watching this. Alive, so we might as well be brave. We can be bad